All right, part two of this catalytic converter replacement on a 2010 Chevy Silverado. If you guys seen video one, you'll see that I was putting on the MagnaFlow exhaust. I actually had this catalytic converter right here was the one that was bad. I'm gonna try to get up in there and see if you can see. Do you see how it's all jacked up? So this is the one that was bad. Um, where it all went, I'm not sure, because nothing actually fell out. And on the other one, this one was still good. Let's see. Yeah, you can get down there. So you can see that one was still intact. I wanted to take this video before it got dark, so you could see the installation. So, and there is the new MagnaFlow catalytic converter there's the clamp and then back here is the other third catalytic converter that's the clamp that I said was already on uh, you do have to put it back on now keep in mind I did have to take this cross brace out in order to get this catalytic converter to fit so before doing that, as you can see, I do still have it on the stand. I left it on the stand. This is me just holding everything in place. Uh, the transmission and drive shaft, just supporting the weight. Um, the hardest problem I had with this was getting the old catalytic converter bolts off i actually smashed the crap out of my finger trying to break these bolts they're really tight uh it's just gonna take a lot of work to get them off that was the majority of my time was getting this old bad boy off so i haven't actually started the truck yet um i wanted to take this video before it got dark i did not think i was gonna have to take off that center bracket uh, the engine that holds the engine up but I did it wasn't too bad it's just there's no way to get that MagnaFlow catalytic converter in but that's the install wasn't too bad took me a long time like I said to get that them bolts out but once you get them out then it's it's really no big deal so just be prepared to take a, let's, let's see, it was 15, size 15 bolts. Pretty much all the bolts under here were 15, except for this cross brace. You see that one's still loose because I'm in the process of tightening that back down, but that was actually a 21 millimeter. I undid three of them, and then I just let this thing hang on that fourth bolt, and that gave me enough room to get the catalytic converter up in there but nonetheless beat pain the repair guy minus my finger thanks for watching